afternoon for the Tampa Bay Rays, and really, it's the just the same same formula. We talked about him in the open. His last two starts, covering 13 innings, 16 strikeouts, no walks. That has been really the key. And there you go, a swing and miss. He saw the uh, fastball to change up a little breaker. Listen, it's not fair. So two up, two down, no score, and here is Kyle Garlick. And the first one he swings, he sees, is banged high and deep to center field. Kiermaier back at the track, at the wall. That ball's gone. A home run for Kyle Garlick. His second homer this season, his third hit all year. And the Twins are on the board. And a two-out first-inning home run from Garlick. It's one nothing Twins. Starting pitcher staff, Chris Archer pitching in a familiar place. He's done a good job for the Twins so far. Not quite as sharp as last time out. See the six walks right there. have been the biggest issue, but the fastball velocity up. Topped out at 95. Got him. Swing and a miss. Two down. Back-to-back -back walks. Beyondi Diaz and Josh Lowe. And now Randy Arozarena comes to the plate with a couple of guys on. Archer fields, sets, and throws. And ends the inning. Shane McClanahan getting ready to face Gary Sanchez. And that is a strike call. Sanchez caught looking. Here's Miguel Sano. Well, he just went right back to it and strikes him out. Two up, two down via the strikeout. Ryan Jeffers, the catcher. And he got him. Strikes him out on the breaking pitch. One, two, three, striking out the side. One nothing, Minnesota. This at bat should be fun. Archer, not too many teammates remain from his time with the Rays, but one of them is batting right now in Kevin Kiermeyer. And he came back to strike Kiermeyer out, one away. Gilberto Celestino, right hand batter. And that is strike three call. Celestino caught looking. The one out, one on, and up comes Jorge Polanco. Once again, here it comes. Swing and a miss. He finally did get one by him, and it was the changeup that's becoming more and more of an effective pitch for Shane McClanahan. Sometimes if somebody can steal a base, they will go ahead and send them with two strikes. And there he goes. Pitch chopped to the right side, and that'll bleed into outfield. The outfield, Larnick being held at third. It's actually a nice play by Lau to get to that ball. If you had trickled all the way to low in right field, they may have sent Larnick. And now here is right hand hitting Kyle Garlick, who homered his first time. Swing and the miss. Garlick out on strikes. Three strikeouts in the inning, seven in the game, one one time. Good spot for Archer early in this game, second and third, two out. Chop to short, Correa fires. And again, two men are left aboard. We head to the fourth tied at one. Jeffers, Celestino, and Larnick. And he got the chase. And boy, look at the action on that pitch. That's, you know, listen, as we were talking earlier in the game, every single one of Shane McClanahan's pitches has an elite attribute. The 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out, there's number 11. With every strikeout, a new career high, and he lengthens his lead in Major League Baseball. At the very end, the very end, and now late. It just dips below the swing. He's like, where did that go? Here's Garlic to bat. Homer in the first inning. A deep drive to left, and Garlic has another one. This time with a man aboard, and the Twins take a 3-1 to one lead. Well, one of the main strengths he has is what he does against left-handed pitchers. He put his name in the lineup today. Originally, he was in the four slot. Now you got him in the three slot, and he comes through big time. Celestino at second base after the errors, and now Larnick bats the 1-0 pitch. A drive to right field down the line of the corner. That's going to land fair and skip off the wall. Celestino rounds third. He will head home. The throw to second base is late. RBI double from Trevor Larnick. Celestino scores. 4-1 Twins. Two outs. Larnick hasn't moved off second base. And so now it's up to Max Kepler. Now the 2-2. A swing and a broken bat flare into shallow right field. That's going to land for a base hit. Larnick rounds. He heads home. He will score sliding. And Kepler drives in. The Twins' fifth run today. Just absolute perfect placement. And because Larnick... There was two outs. He got a great jump on this ball off on contact. The Rays with another RBI chance. Base hit left field. Polanco had to hold up. They're still going to send him around. Here's the throw from Rosarina cut off. And a three-hit game for Carlos Correa and an RBI single in the ninth. Yeah, another three-hit game. Another at-bat with hard contact. Here is Kepler. A high fly to right field going back is low he's at the wall and 
gone. A home run for Kepler. Two more on the board. And the number three spot has driven in six of the Twins' runs this afternoon. Ryan Jeffers is the batter. First and third, two out. Jeffers lines one sharply to left field, and that'll bring in Sanchez from third base. In this inning alone, six hits. And so far, four runs. Margot last hope for the Rays with a breaking ball, and there it is again. Good outing for Caleb Thielbar. That goes a long way toward uh, rebuilding his confidence, finishing the ball game. And a nice response by the Twins.